was with us. As promised, Lindsay Riley takes a seat on the couch. <laughs> so what are we in store for tonight? Well, we have showers and even some thunderstorms, and now they're most congregated around Yuma and even western portions of Maricopa County, but they're going to be pushed School districts teach parents about gun safety. You can cast a vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn or in the aforementioned 12 News app. We're asking because the Phoenix Union High School District will be sending letters home with their students about gun safety. The district in just 60 seconds. Finding a safe and inexpensive place for kids after school while the parents are still at work can be pretty challenging. It's very hard. A good place at that. <laughs> it's a problem a few Valley skateboarders noticed and decided to do something about. Team tells Jamie Cagle checked it out. Now, the old world record was a 2,400 pound uh. fire where it just on the air. Uh, that exploded over the United Arab Emirates on New Year's Eve back in 2018. I wonder how much something like that costs. Oh my gosh. I mean, that just, look at that. Can you imagine if it would have been blinding. a dud? <laughs> yes. I'm glad that it went off without a hitch. Oh. No kidding. Hey, first at four, a secret stash of more than a thousand incredible paintings. That's what one Valley family discovered while helping their grandpa move out of his house. Can you imagine just stumbling across a trove yes. like that? Now they're asking for the public's help in getting those works of art on display. Team 12's Bianca Bono has the story. Aren't those stunning? I can't even keep it a secret when I have like a good lunch. Like I want to <laughs> tell everybody about it. I can't imagine having this passion, let alone something I'm really good at, and right. keeping it a secret from my family for my yes, entire life. That it was a surprise. The, 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 the art is amazing. Don't get me wrong. It blows me away. But the really surprising part of the story is that it was like it was a, a secret gallery of a thousand paintings just stashed away somewhere. No. Oh, my goodness. Well, hopefully they'll find a great display, you know, Put it up for everyone to appreciate. Right here on Roosevelt Row, there's ample opportunity for a gallery. Yeah. Do it on a first Friday. I'm sure somebody down there would hook it up. And I'll take one of those paintings, by the way. Yeah. Well, until you find out how much it's going for, right? Uh, I meant as like a, um, like a donation. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Coming up next on First Welcome back, everyone, to First at Four. Have you ever dated someone or thought about dating someone that you work with? Many people have, and it can be very difficult, especially in the age of this whole Me Too movement. The CEO of McDonald's not that long ago was forced to step down from his position because of a relationship he had with a coworker last year. I've never encountered it. No, and I'm actually surprised 42%. That That's seems high to me. half work, yeah. uh, workplaces. Okay, so this can, of course, of course, be very important because work relationships happen pretty often. Another survey from 2017 found that 57% of workers said that they have been in a relationship with someone they work with. Now, that seems accurate to me. Yeah. Almost 6 out of 10. We want to hear from you, though. Should people be allowed to date their coworkers? Have any romantic relationships in your workplace caused problems later down the line. Share your stories with us, 602-444-1212. We'll read some of your responses a little later in the show. Keep it clean, if you could. Yes. Or, or don't, but just don't expect that text to be read. So have you ever dated someone in the workplace? Yes. At almost every place I've ever worked. Okay. Yeah. And For me, it's like, it's a it's an understanding of one's, the burdens of one's professional career. Right. Because we kind of have a unique career. Yes. Um, and we spend so much time at work. Right. And also, it's about the hours. And it's about, I mean, like, I think people that are on TV, especially, just sort of lend themselves to being physically attractive, mm -hmm. too. Like, it sort of checks all those boxes. Right. And there's their convenience in it, for yeah. sure. I dated, um, this is way back in my Columbus Oh, back days. in the day. Okay. Back in the day. Uh, somebody from the sales department. Okay. So luckily it wasn't, you know, sure. it's not like we saw each other all the time, yeah. but I chose not to do that again. The competition is rough too. <laughs> when, when it's somebody that you're working against, yeah, yeah not fun. Yeah. Share your stories with us. We'll yes. hear from you in just a second. Okay, so do you not- If you're that perverse, uh, this is not for Whoa. me. Not to say that those reptiles don't need to eat, uh, but I just Too can't much. imagine. I mean, you're personifying that rat as your ex and then watching it be consumed. That's a little dark. Like, even the, the people who I don't get along with that I used to date, I wouldn't wish them to be eaten by a you reptile. I think this is kind of funny and, and a joke. It's just not it's for me. It's very creative of the zoo, though, I will say. I mean, I've never heard of something like this. Chance to keep the lights on for a few extra days, make a few bucks here and there, and it doesn't cost the them anything. Ex, they got to yeah. feed their reptiles anyway. Right. Hey, time now for today's juicy question. We'll call him a cockroach. Oh. Uh, how about lie? It's 100% right? right? Isn't that? Yeah. yeah. What about taking a swing? What about laying a hand on? 40%? I've been really? pushed. Maybe smacked upside the head once or twice. That was mostly mom. I was Not to say I didn't deserve it. <laughs> yes. 
We're going to have the answer for you coming up in our next half an hour. First at four, they're... It's like sports talk radio, but with text messages. Lucas from Phoenix starts it off with a good laugh. He says, coworkers should not date. I met my girlfriend at work, and after seven years, she still never washes the dishes. Oh. I am living in a nightmare. Lucas, thank you for sharing that Lucas. with us. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, this one is so sweet. I love Barbara Grossman says she's she said I was allowed to date a coworker. We married a few months later and that was 36 years ago. 36 years going so strong. Sweet. There are so many more good ones. I promise yes. we're going to get to some more coming up on first at 4:30. On this mission, with that uncomfortable statistic in mind, dozens of Valley kids are learning the rules of the road with a little help from Phoenix firefighters and police officers. As Team 12's Trisha Hendricks shares, the new knowledge they're gaining will help them stay safe when they head out on the road.